A computer has six tape drives with n processors competing for them. Each process may need two drives. What is the maximum value of n for the system to be deadlock free? We have one resource type tape drive and there are six instances of this resource type maximum. There are n processors competing for them. Each process may need two drives. So each process maximum need is two. What is the maximum value of n for which the system is deadlock free? We need to find the maximum number of processes for which the system is deadlock free. Suppose all these n processes are allocated with 1 minus their maximum need. So all the processes are allocated with one resource, 2 minus 1, one resource. And even after allocating these much resources, we have one resource remaining or one resource available now. This is the final case scenario in which there is no deadlock because here all the processes are holding some resources and all the processes have made a single request. And we have one resource available so one of these requests now one of these requests can be satisfied and once it is satisfied that process will release all its resources by which other process can execute thereby the entire system can execute without causing any deadlock and if there is one more process and that process is also holding some holding maximum minus one and requesting for one more resource now the availability is zero now all these processes are holding some resources and all these processes have made a single request none of these requests can be satisfied availability is zero hence now there is deadlock so if we limit the number of processes to a particular extent, then we can avoid deadlock with the given number of resources. So what is that maximum value of n for which there is no deadlock? In this case, all the n processes are allocated with one resource and one resource is remaining and this NDO resources is within the limit of 6 n into 1 plus 1 is less than or equal to 6 what is the value of n n equals 6 minus 1 5 so if n is less than or equal to 5 then there is no deadlock if the number of processes is less than or equal to 5 there is no deadlock so what is the maximum value of n for which there is no deadlock n equals 5 let us check we have five processes and all the processes are allocated with one resource then five resources are allocated one resource is available so at least one of these process requests can be satisfied now and the entire system is deadlock free if n is less than 5 then also the system is deadlock free suppose n equals 4 all the processes if are making a single request then the availability is 2 4 resources are allocated 2 resources are remaining now also there is no deadlock we can satisfy the request of 2 processes now but if n is greater than 5 suppose n equals 6 then if all the processes are holding one resource and requesting for one resource means the availability is zero. None of these requests can be satisfied. Now there is deadlock and when n is greater than 6 then also there is deadlock. Means there is chance for deadlock. But if n equals 5 or n is less than 5, the system is guaranteed to be deadlock free. So the maximum value of n for which the system is deadlock free is n. n equals 5.